Okay, here we go. More homemade rotary couplers. These are uh, redos. If you get in here and you find out that you didn't select good ones, good nails on the end, and they're all oblong, you have to go back here and dig a deeper hole so that then you can sit in there and rotate around. Basically, I just use JB Weld and mix up a little dollop and put some on there. When you get into these, these are Walther's coal porters. You have to grind down into here, then grind down a slot at the back for the, the nail to rotate around in. Oh, so much you got to do to get that to work. But uh, what I use is I use a Dremel tool, and this is a, a grinding thing, and this is the one I use at the end to make the deeper slot. That's pretty much it. It's just so much crazy work to do this stuff just to get rotocouplers. These are, you know, these are the Magic Mac couplers. Oh man. He just still still making them. Look at that. He just just put them in there. They're just modified KD couplers. But that's I don't don't he don't make them. And I best I can do is come up with this crazy crud. So again, it's, it's just two brass tubes, a little nail in one end, and a coupler on the other. Oh man, there we go. But this is it. To get these, you have to grind them down so the couplers will be level with that these weren't so bad as far as being level I did I just ground off the old glue that was on there and that's what you see there just the old glue but you had to make a deep pocket in there for the nail to rotate so that's it these are homemade rotary couplers they work Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh no. I'm done. Goodbye. That's it.